Hello everyone, it's Jamal Thomas. Welcome to the Progressive Soapbox. So, I need to eat a little crow in this. I'm man enough to admit when I'm wrong. Man enough to admit when I'm wrong. It seems that the UK government has actually found something else. And they've revealed to the public what they found to get across that it is indeed Russia. That Russia was responsible. That Boris Johnson wasn't talking out his ass when he said Vladimir Putin was guilty, that Vladimir Putin did it. Boris Johnson was apparently absolutely right. The government getting sick of hearing people bitch and moan and scream at him saying, it sounds like he lied about pouring down, where's the information, where's the evidence, what are you using to justify accusing Russia of this? What are you using? What are you using? You need to tell us, you need to tell us. You don't have a good track record on this. There were no weapons of mass destruction, you killed a million people. Where? What are you using? Pouring down didn't back you up. So what do you use? I think those are fair questions. I think those are questions that should be asked of anybody. And I applaud the government in the UK, Theresa May, for coming out and explaining what they were using to go after him. And apparently it is an open and shut case. Hands down, it's Vladimir Putin. They were absolutely right. Putin himself, actually. And they can prove it. Take a look at this. British police find Putin's passport at the scene of the Salisbury poison attack. Putin left his passport. He dropped it when he was fleeing and getting into a car to get back into Russia. Britain. Britain got him. See? His face is on it. Look. You can tell it's him. It's him. It's completely him. They got him. <laughs> Salisbury... Salisbury, I mean, yeah, I'm sorry. Last doubts over Russia's guilt in poisoning former spy Sergei Skripal have been eliminated. As the British government announced today, the passport of Russian President Vladimir Putin was found at the scene in Salisbury. According to Prime Minister Theresa May, the passport was only now found in another search of the scene as it had been hidden under a fallen leaf. Russia has 24 hours to extradite Vladimir Putin for questioning in London according to a statement issued by the British government. Refusal will be taken as admission of guilt. Read the German version here. That looks like him. That looks like him. I don't know about you, but that looks like him. Apparently we were wrong. <laughs> Apparently we were wrong. Apparently they got him. I mean, yeah, it like, that looks like him. <laughs> that looks like him. He must have dropped his passport when he was, you know, poisoning the spy and this military grade poison and he was just kind of fleeing the scene so i apologize my bad brig my bad well played sir well played this is being sarcastic by the way this is all of us is being immensely sarcastic um britain does not have that man britain does not have any evidence and this passport thing is kind of to highlight how they have no evidence and they were trying to manufacture this kind of appearance of evidence by adding and pointing down in their conversations about what was taking place. They have squat. It's not that Russia didn't do it. It's that the government needs to get across their case that they did. And in the way they talked about this, this they, they made it seem like they had some kind of expert evidence backing up their claim and that this wasn't purely just quote unquote intelligence. You don't get to pull that card twice especially when you fail so miserably the last time. Until they have something, they have nothing. And we as a public need to make sure we have the workable point of view that the government needs to prove its case. Period. It needs to prove its case. I'll end it at this. This one wasn't meant to be long. I thought it was funny. Um, kind of in the same vein of, of the last one that we did on Rachel Maddow pointing at Putin wildly. This just trips me out. What, what is this? This is called the Postillion. The Postillion. Yeah, Postillion.com. I, I guess it's a joke site. So, not being serious again. All of this is sarcasm. I'm joking. All right, guys. So I'll end it at that. If you enjoy the content, please feel free to share, like, subscribe, and of course, as always, Patreon. Thanks, guys.